I was a pedestrian standing on a boat dock. Um, the gentleman missed the turn in the road and actually hit me in my knees. Um, I went through his windshield, collapsed his passenger seat, and then when his car landed in the water, I was thrown about 30 feet out into the lake. Uh, there happened to be an off-duty firefighter there. Um, thank God, he pulled me out. I, I didn't know who it was at the time. After I'd recovered there in the hospital um, and was able to get home, get through physical therapy, I decided to repay him because I didn't know who it was that I would join the fire service and make my career a tribute to him. And then hopefully I would be able to save another life in his honor one day. My name is David McGee. I am the director of fire science at Hawking College. I was fortunate enough to go through fire school with three of the guys that I ended up working with 16 years later. And it's funny how much we remembered from fire school when talking about, you know, the things we did wrong then and, and how much we've learned since then and the, all the fun we had in fire school and then how it relates to our job. And in the fire service we have a saying, it's, it wasn't in the brochure. We never know what we're going to be doing next. You know, one minute we're mopping floors and the next thing we're cutting people out of cars. So one of the things you always hear about is the, the brotherhood and the fire service. That camaraderie carries over into our classroom here and firemen know firemen all over the world and everywhere you go you meet a new fireman and you're able to pull new pieces of information or share information or just talk war stories. It's not that they're off one way or the other, it's, there's just something different. They're called to a higher service. Every time somebody calls us, it's never for a good situation or very rarely for a good situation. You know, our job here at Hawking College is to train them to be safe when they get into those situations, to show them what the worst case scenario is and help them be prepared when they do get out in the real world. It's a, it's a thankless job and it's the hardest job that you'll ever love.